Okay, guys, welcome. We're going to go through the July task one step at a time. Um, just to give you guys, show you how to do it and what, uh, what exactly I was looking for with the questions. The first task was to use the GNR 538 of September 2016 to determine the licensing requirements for the catchments listed in the table below where the client wanted to abstract 10,000 meters cubed per annum from a borehole on a property with the size of 20 hectares. Okay, so the first step to that is you take your property size in hectares and then your yield in meters cubed per annum, which is what the client wants. Let's call it demand rather. Demand meters cubed per annum. Oops. Okay, so my property size is 20. My demand is 10,000 cubes per annum. So therefore my demand meters cubed per hectare per annum which is the same units that they use in the GNR. You take my meters cubed divided by the property size. So I want 500 cubes per hectare per annum. And then you take that number and you look at your GA limit which is 45, 150, et cetera. And then my requirement is 500. So none of them, would get away with a general authorization. So what do we do to do this? The easy way to do it is if my requirement is bigger than the general authorization limit, then I need a water use license. And if it isn't, then it'll be a general authorization. So as you can see, all of them require a water use license because they are all larger in requirement than general authorization limit. Okay, so that is task one.